Hi everyone, welcome back to Isha Gaming. I realized that I have a gaming channel <laughs> and I talk a lot about the Switch and I talk sometimes about the Xbox, sometimes about the PlayStation 4. I rarely talk about PC games. So in this video I will give you my top 10 played PC games of all time. And I've played PC games since I was in my diapers. Now this top 10 list is definitely influenced by a lot of nostalgia and feelings and if I played together with people and that created some kind of good memory. And this list is not necessarily in order. And also games that I played on other systems that are also on PC are not included, like Dragon Quest Builders 2, Assassin's Creed Origins, Destiny 2, like games that are also on PC and whatever. Let's go to number 10. I have big nostalgia and great memories with Titan Quest. It is simply a game that I played too much back in 2010 and 2011, together with my friend Michelle, and I also play this a ton with Stefan. In Titan Quest there is just a ton of replayability, and I view this now as an absolute PC classic and a must play for ARPG fans. It is even out now on the Switch, and I did a review way back, old review, very cringe, <laughs> don't watch it, but it is on the Switch also. I consider it to be a classic. And and it probably fell down the hidden gem hole by now. It's such a fun multiplayer game and it is on my top 10 PC games because it was just solid and I have had a ton of fun with it together with my friends. I just came out of COVID. <laughs> That's why my voice is sort of... <sighs> Never mind that. Now on my ninth place and I had to have this on the, on here, uh, basically. Uh, Two Point Hospital. Yeah, it makes the list. Also partially because it is a spiritual successor to my childhood love theme hospital. But there's just a certain charm and replayability in a good simulation game like this. It is the type of game that's fun to start over again and I have done that several times. I have files on PC, Switch, Xbox. Fun to start over again, replayability to the max. I don't know what it is, it's just satisfying to manage a hospital and create treatment rooms. And what can I say, it's just so much fun and it's lighthearted, magical almost. It is also a game that's out on the Switch, a very good one also. I've sunk tons of hours into both this and Theme Hospital. This video is sponsored by Lenovo and in my previous video here on this channel you could see me unbox it and talk a bit about it. But now I have just had Covid. I mean I still probably have Covid. I'm I'm quarantining myself, basically. But this laptop, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, has made this video super fun to make. It has helped me through my COVID with entertainment. This PC just eats any game that I throw at it. It runs everything like butter. I have never seen Diablo 3 as crisp as now. <laughs> it's an older game though, but I also tried to stress test this laptop with a really demanding game like Call of Duty Warzone. It runs like butter. Nothing is a challenge for this computer. I highly recommend this computer by now. It is my main computer, Isha Gaming approved, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. I am impressed. And the fans, they are not of the loud kind. They are surprisingly quiet. I have it on my lap. I play games now every day because I can't, <laughs> can't go out. But in general, I found so many games that I'm now checking out through Xbox Game Pass on PC, like A Good Life. And I'm also now playing uh, Halo Infinite. <laughs> Yeah, so everything just runs so smoothly. So I have a link down below if you wanna order this computer, gaming laptop, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. I can definitely say that I'm loving it. And the aspect ratio, the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, it makes sense to me now. Everything is like, this makes sense. <laughs> it has a NVIDIA 3070 graphics card and it is super speedy. The smoothest gaming experience I've ever had on my laptop. Highly recommend. <laughs> Now my next game that is not very demanding, so maybe the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro is a bit overkill. I had to put Minecraft on this list for a simple, for several simple reasons. The fun factor, the creativity, the multiplayer-ness, <laughs> the memories that I have had, I've played it a ton. I mean, if we're gonna really talk about the PC game that I've played an insane amount of hours, we 
We couldn't exclude Minecraft. It's becoming an old classic by now, really. I have played it on all systems also, even the 3DS. Oh my god, do not recommend that. I have great memories with all of the fun times that I've had in Minecraft. Maybe especially memorable is the time that I made my own realm in 2014 and played a ton with friends and each man and his family. We made a huge neighborhood community with like a jail, a hospital, a fire station, all sorts of creative creations. I'm I'm gonna see if I can find an old realm video on my channel and have that play right now. And that is the thing with Minecraft, it is so limitless if you are a very creative person. There's really no limit to what you can do in this game, it's incredible. And that is what made it as popular as it is. Also I feel like this game is proof that graphics are not everything. Gameplay is definitely where it's at in Minecraft. Also on Switch. <laughs> Basically everywhere. Also everywhere. In my next place, I had to have The Sims, and I'm just including all four of them, all Sims, because I have been there with them, so to speak, from the start and until now. I have played Sims 1, 2, 3, and 4. I have to say my favorite is the most recent one right now, Sims 4. A lot of things were improved, but I grew up on Sims 1. There's just a good amount of fun to be had in The Sims games. I have played all of them a lot, on several systems, on PC, the GameCube, the PS4 even. And I have to say this series is especially good on a PC with mouse and keyboard, especially. It's just a PC type of game. Much like Minecraft, there is no limit to what social scenarios you can roleplay in Sims, for example. You can create yourself, create your neighbors, create your friends, and also create your homes. I tend to create a lot of people that I know, and this is the thing that I always do. I always create my current living space, my current apartment, or right now my current house. I have made all places I have ever lived. I've also several times used The Sims as a tool for designing some concepts for a future real-life family cabin, for example, that we are planning on building. There's just a ton of possibilities. You can use this game as an architecture game or just play out a lot of role-playing scenarios that you want to, you know, get out of your system. I think The Sims series has deserved a spot in my top 10 PC games. Now my next spot goes to the previously mentioned Diablo 3. It had to. It is another ARPG game, similar to Titan Quest. I have played this game a ton over the years, replayed it several times, and it came out back in 2012. And I have had wonderful times with friends in this, and a ton of classes. That is what makes it so replayability-like. This one is also out on the Switch, and I've played it also a lot on the Switch. It's just an addicting game, and if you haven't played it yet, you should. Uh, it is addicting and mindless. You don't have to think so much. <laughs> I love it. The next game is gonna have to be Fallout 4. <laughs> <laughs> to a surprise to some people, probably. It is a game that's probably loved by many and hated by many. I'm not talking about 76, I'm talking about Fallout 4, the 2015 game, I think. I think it came out in 2015. This is a game that I bought on both PS4 and on PC. And I played it all, I played all the DLCs, I loved the post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> I love the Fallout universe. Fallout 4 had a fantastic story, a solid and fun gameplay, and I will never forget this game. <laughs> it is by Bethesda, the Skyrim people, but it may feel a bit dated by now. And even though I don't like the map, I like the game. <laughs> Fallout 4, guys. Now Elder Scrolls Online, 
I played it in its first beta, I remember the development of this game, I've gone back to it several times over the years, I played it with friends, I played it on PC, PS4, played it everywhere. It is an MMO game out also on consoles, it is set in the Elder Scrolls universe and you can visit landmarks from all over Tamriel, already visited in Morrowind, Oblivion and Skyrim even. It's got a ton of voice acting and a massive world. You're never gonna explore all of this world, it's just too much. Too many quests also, you will never be finished with this one. Ton of content and that is also why every time I come back to this game, even though it's been like a year or two, it draws me back in because there's so many exciting things. I, I like this world. It's just such a game and you will never run out of things to do. Elder Scrolls Online. Now the next game, Genshin Impact, guys. Do you guys remember, I mean, some of you probably remember this. I talked about Genshin Impact in 2020 as if I'd met the love of my life. Do you guys remember that? I made two videos on it. It was my absolute game of the year in 2020 and it is a free open world, absolutely beautiful anime style, action combat, adventure and exploring super game. <laughs> uh, really, it's free also. And it also has online multiplayer. But it's also fun to play alone, it's that sort of game. And now I have been recently going back to it, now that I got a super good gaming laptop, gone back to it. And I can feel that it is sucking me in all over again, with now all the new content that has been added to the game since last time I talked about it. There is a new continent, but I'm trying to work my way through the main quest to get there. I heard it's gonna be worth it. If you have yet to play Genshin Impact, I recommend that you try it. It is out on PS4, PC, Android. Which reminds me, this was actually announced to come out on the Nintendo Switch and that never happened. Where is it? Anyways, I'm just playing this on PC. Super smooth. Now the next game is World of Warcraft, guys. <laughs> World of Warcraft, guys. When I sat down to write this list, I was like, damn. World of Warcraft is gonna be taking the second or first spot. You know, I had to have World of Warcraft high up there. It is my all-time most played PC game. I have about 4,000 hours in it, I think, maybe more. Um, spread across the years. But it has been some time now since I considered myself an active player, an active WoW player. Tynets calls me a fake WoW player. <laughs> I guess we could say I jumped ship at Pandaria basically. But I'll never forget the golden age of a brat of the Leash King. It's not a game, it's a lifestyle. And I was in this lifestyle back in the day. It is the best MMO game out there. And after all of these years, there's almost no way for a new player to catch up to all of the content that's been dropped to this game. It's almost too big by now. Subscription is required, which I find annoying though, which for example Elder Scrolls Online doesn't have. I can jump into it without resubscribing. But yeah, World of Warcraft costs a subscription. To play at. So yeah, I had to purchase a month of subscription only to capture the gameplay you are looking at right now. I will always feel a ton of nostalgia towards this game. Just revisiting all of the old places. It's just such a game. <laughs> such a world. World of Warcraft. Ton of places to go. I've had wonderful time. This game has helped me through a lot of times in my life. Like back in 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, when I had my active years in this game. Uh, I will never forget this game. Maybe I will play WoW Classic when that comes to the Wrath of the Leech King era to relive my golden age. Now on first place, this is, this is such a joke. <laughs> now on first place, how can I put this? 
I've talked about this game so many times, it's not even funny anymore. Uh, it's my most played single player experience game ever, okay? It is an open world Bethesda game. And I mean, do I even have anything new to say about this game at this point? It's been on the first place for every single top 10 that I've made. Because it's out on every single console also. So this is just becoming a joke or a meme by now. But to be fair, out of all the systems, that I have played Skyrim on, I've had the best time on the PC. So this is the correct, the most correct place to have Skyrim, in my opinion. It is also out everywhere, like I said. Switch, PS4, I have save files across the, all of the places. But I have played this game most on the PC. So that is cool. Skyrim. Now thank you so much for watching this video and please check out Lenovo Legion 5 Pro down below in my link and it is a strong, powerful, great gaming laptop that I can highly recommend and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I am loving this computer, it's like I am looking forward to waking up in the morning to go upstairs and just everything runs so smoothly, it's just such a laptop. Join my Discord, everyone, and check out my uh, social media. Mm, yeah, and my other videos. You know what? The best uh, way that you can support my channel is actually to just watch my content. That's all I like to hear. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you later.